Now we take a trip to the Ocean County Library, where hundreds of patrons are talking about their favorite reads. Who doesn't like to talk about the great books they're reading? Well, readers can do just that at any of the 94 adult book discussion groups held throughout the Ocean County Library System. Gigi Hayes, Principal Librarian of Collections, tells us more about some of the titles our discussion groups are reading this year. Currently, one of the hottest titles is Water for Elephants by Sarah Grin. This book is so popular, the discussion groups are scheduled to the end of 2009. We also have many requests for titles that focus on diverse cultures and people, such as Eat, Pray, Love by Elizabeth Gilbert, Three Cups of Tea by Greg Mortensen and David Oliver Rellin, and A Thousand Splendid Sons by Khalid Husseini. In addition, this year the Manchester branch will host a Jewish literature book discussion series through December. But choosing titles that will engage and enlighten reading groups is no simple task. First, we look at recommendations from our discussion groups. We also look to the internet to see what the hottest new reads are. And of course, no one knows books better than our library staff. So we look to them to help narrow down the selection. Group members can get their books in two formats. Books, or if they prefer, books on CD. Currently, group sizes range from 10 to as many as 25. And they don't just meet at local libraries. Some meet in homes, at senior clubhouses, and even churches or synagogues. It's easy to become part of a book discussion group. You simply check the book out at your local library branch, where you're given a list of questions that promote discussion. Then, attend the monthly meeting. Regular members get a new book each month, either at their library branch or at their meeting location. I think the book discussions uh, give you a way of um, a different context for, for reading. If you're just reading by yourself, for yourself, uh, that's not a bad thing. But when you know you're going to be discussing the book with other people, it really adds a dimension to it. Uh, for example, I remember a discussion of Beloved by Toni Morrison, and it's a fascinating book, has its tricky aspects, and we discussed that for probably an hour and a half. We even had different views of what had actually happened in the story, and without that group feedback, I don't think I would have looked at it that way. Book discussions can even take a mediocre reading experience and make it good because you're talking with other people. You branch out into life experience, you go beyond the pages of the book, and it can just broaden your worldview. It's something to look forward to. For more information about these great book discussion groups, or to learn about all the library special programs and events, visit our website at www.theoceancountylibrary.org or pick up a calendar of events at your local branch. Until next time, I'm Heather Anderson. Mm -hmm.